What's going on guys? Welcome back to Resident Evil 2. And we're on our way to go and uh, do some stuff over here in the uh, the equivalent of the don't open dead inside room. <laughs> Yet again, I'm sorry if you hear my PS4 chugging over here for some strange reason. It's been doing that for a while. I think I probably need to replace the fan. There's air coming out of it. it there's uh, cold air and stuff. It's just some games call it the vent a little bit more than others for some reason. Spider-Man does it sometimes. I just Spider-Man hasn't been doing it a lot. So I'm sorry if you hear that. All right, so we can't do that because, you know, life in general. Look at all this water. All right, so this is the press room. From RE2. Uh, originally, in the original RE2, there was three torches in here you would have to light, and a gear would come out of the wall. Yeah, I, I know. It sounds fucking weird. I don't understand. If you were like, what the fuck kind of game was RE2? Well, it's probably one of my favorite games of all time, because it actually allowed me to be smart growing up. So, you know, when you were the kid who knew where everything was, and you know, you know, show everybody who you're better. You're better than everyone. Okay, I, I guess. All right, so you got this toilet over here is running over. Water. I want to see a Raccoon City water bill after this situation because uh, it's a lot of water. Oh, first aid spray. Forgot that was over here. All right, there should be some nonsense this way. All right, guys. Can't go in that room. Hurry! Open up! Open this goddamn door! I'll get you out! Please! Give me your hand. Help me! I got you. Give me your other hand. Well, at least now I can get all his clothes half off. <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> you seem to be leaking a lot of spaghetti there, Elliot. Okay, just so we're clear on a couple things. Zombies do not die, okay? They get back up. They do not die in this game. You may think, oh, headshots? No. You gotta blow Jesus. their fucking heads off for them to even stay down. Such gooey mess. That's a Marvin. The cop of the month or year. I can't remember what the sign says. I think he's the cop of the year. Marvin Brown. Leon Kennedy. There was another officer I could. See, Leon will be wearing his uh, jacket and jeans and shit in this scene, so it's kind of weird. So the next clip of him, like, suiting up is just going to be fucking weird. So he cuts, and you see him, like, changing his elbow pads and shit. Oh, it doesn't look as weird. I was supposed to start last week, and I got a call to stay away. Or should I come here sooner? You're here now, Leon. That's all that matters. Hey, Lieutenant. I'm ready. Hopefully you'll be able to find a way out of the station. That officer you met earlier. He thought this secret passageway might be a trick. 
This is good news. We can get you to a hospital. No, no, I am not. You know, I okay. I understand that this place was once an art museum, but you save yourself first. Why would art museums need like escape hatches? Unless they were being robbed, maybe I guess. But then again, this is Raccoon City, and it they they add some more to the lore of Resident Evil in this game. Not in this part of the, not in Leon's campaign, nonetheless, but in Claire's. And it makes me very, very uncomfortable as a human being to know <laughs> that I now know this knowledge. I will play Claire's after I finish Leon's. So I should have did it canon, Leon A, uh, Claire A, Leon B, but. Uh, we're not doing for we're not going for canality canality is canality a word could someone tell me is canality a word because I highly doubt canality is a word so we're gonna take that all right we're gonna take that and we're going to hit the typewriter really quick over here and the item box we're gonna hit that too so we're gonna hit that typewriter and we're gonna hit that save down here I'm gonna hit that save all right hit that typewriter and then we're gonna put no we're gonna store that all right so I have different guns you know I have different guns I can use and shit but uh, I'm not a fan of the samurai edge guns for reasons all right put that metal in there I can discard that there we go so now all I have is a gun. Yeah, but the passage isn't open yet. All right, Marvin, you uh, continue doing what you're doing over there. Uh, don't have anything horrible happen to you while I'm gone. Neither, neither would I, Leon. I don't imagine my first day having to murder my co-workers in brutal fashion. There's supposed to be a liquor in that window. Not in this game, though. Just wanted to point that out. Um, there's uh, that thing. And for the sake of Gooey Man over here, I'll show you Gooey Man. Laffy Taffy Face, if you will. He's got a lot of pasta on his face. Oh, fuck. It's pretty fucking gross, right? What? Pretty fucking gross. Alright. So we got... He's sucking the pipe. Literally. <gasps> ah! Ooh! You got I got it on footage, folks. I, I'm... He's floating on me. And we're having fun, and we're gonna go on it all. Oh. <laughs> Want to go on an adventure, bro? Oh. Ah. I don't want any. Go away. <laughs> he broke through the window. You can have it. You can have that place if, if you want. All right, it's 18 rounds. And there's some other stuff here. Record of events. Returning the police station to a temporary shelter due to the massive sudden outbreak. All police personnel have been instructed to make the safety of the citizens their top priority, as if they try to accommodate as many of them as possible. One of the refugees attacked us in the middle of the night, resulting in the death of one officer and injuring three others. The person in question was quickly retained. Restrained. We believe he was simply a case of someone snapping under tense stress. Mob attack station today resulting in a couple casualties. And beyond the emergency shutters and blah blah blah, nothing with the guy and the station is a disarray. David Ford. And we have the map of the first floor. Alright. Can't go that way, I forgot. I need some uh magic pliers. Ugh. Bro, the Mars bars the the, the no, there's no Mars bars in there. Okay? Stop. Just quit it. I need to eat those later. You can't have your zombie germs all over that vending machine. I wasted 
like five bullets doing that joke. So uh, appreciate me. Now we're not going for a completionist run here. So those uh, thingies you see on the, the sometimes those. Oh, well, I'll show you them later. It's it's no big deal. Yeah, we're not gonna go for a completionist run. That's not happening in this universe. I refuse. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah! Fuck. Bastard. Fucking bastards. Gunpowder, gunpowder. Gunpowder, gun, gun, gun powder. Leon S. Kenny, you are putting out a very special case for your first assignment. Your mission is to unlock your desk. The key to your success is in the initials of your first of our first names. Input the letters in, of our desks and the two locks on each side of your desk. Make sure you get them both. Basically, your first task is to remember your fellow officers' names, but you figured that much out, right? Good luck, Leon. By the way, it might take a little work to get Scott to give you a straight answer. Scrawled on the corner of the... In drops of blood. Be glad you're not here, rookie. Alright, so I'm just gonna show you those passwords. Ned is one M R G there we go and it gives me a high capacity thing for my gun and you're gonna combine that gives you a high capacity thing for your gun and now I have more rounds and then there's that guy in there I'm not gonna fuck with him not gonna fuck with him. And then there's the safe. Which I should remember the fucking code to right now. But I don't remember the code. So we're gonna go look at the code. <laughs> we're going to remember the code. Just gonna remember the code. Okay, so 9L. Fifteen R. Seven L, and boom! It's a new side pack to give my officer more space to hold things. Uh, yeah, there's some stuff here. Yeah, I'm gonna take these bullets. I'm gonna need them. All right, so now he has. Oh, oh, hi, buddy. Just gonna leave now. All right, so. This is probably the most one of the most important hallways to just make sure you board it up. Cause this is probably one of those things you're gonna need later. Cause it's a dark room where we develop photographs and share fond memories of each other. Medicinal herbs. You gotta smoke it. Alright, so we gotta go this way. Alright, gotta put these gunpowders away right now. And combine and put that away for right now. But make sure you put your stuff away because mom won't like that and we don't put your toys away. Alright, because more bullets. Alright, and more bullets. Well, I can take that gunpowder out and make more ammo if I wanted. Yeah, that 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 I can do. That I can definitely do. Now I have 45 rounds. He can't get in here because he's a piece of shit. He cannot leave. Alright, there's a bathroom over here. Ah! Fucking keeps getting me. I don't understand. Alright, that's box of ammo. Don't forget that. More shotgun shells. Don't forget that. We won't get the shotgun for quite a while. Just wanted to point that out. Alright, these are the things I'm talking about. Portable safes that I'm just not going to fucking do. Because there's no point in that right now. Oh, hi. Hey, buddy. How's it going? What the? Oh, wait. Why am I fucking aiming so off stop fucking 
moving. Jesus. Why not fucking stop moving? Give me those fucking bullets. DCM. Magnum ammo. The key. What in the? Yeah, forget that exists. Don't don't worry about that. That 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 doesn't exist. Just forget it's there. Forget it ever loved you. All right. So we got this gunpowder, and we got this board, and there should be another side pack here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Two more spaces. Some guy scribbles. <coughs> Alright. Back in the library. Well, back to life, back to reality. right there all right so we're heading down to the library and talk to Marvin Brano about his uh death I uh, uh, dying syndrome but first gotta get the map and get the emblem that's here I think it's fish scorpion Vase? Yep, fish scorpion vase. That's it. There we go. Oh shit! I'm gonna need my knife back. Son of a bitch. I'm gonna need that back. I'm gonna need that back now. I'm gonna need that knife back. So just just stay over there. I, I need that. Um, oh, he's eating that guy's butt. Okay. <laughs> Just wanted to let people know that that's happening. Okay. Now we're on the second floor and we got that door unlocked. So now we're going to go put this metal in this thing and talk to Marvin. Or, well, the trick cutscene's going to trigger anyway. So let's talk to Marvin. There you are. Come here. Take a look. Yes. I knew she'd make it. Did you? Did you really? Because I don't think yeah. you did. <laughs> My name's Claire. I came into town with her. You can get to that courtyard. Through the second floor. East side. I'm on it. Thanks, Lieutenant. <laughs> Alright guys, that's going to wrap up this episode. Hope I can get back to it whenever. And I hope you enjoy more Resident Evil. Catch you guys later.